This is Dane here. This is Wednesday. This is the Ultra 404 indirect random commentary in front of a static self-promotional JPEG video show. Hi, and thank you for tuning in. So yes, it's Wednesday. These are uh, indirect uh, random comments in front of a image here. Okay, so the audio levels check out and everything's working as uh, prescribed here. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I wanted to say thanks uh, today. Uh, not today, but uh, this week was a milestone for the channel and we got 50 subscribers. And uh, so I totally appreciate that. And, you know, maybe five of them are fake and, uh, you know, ten of them don't check their accounts anymore. But... It's, uh, it's, uh, that's the crux of, uh, one of the points I'd like to make, that, uh, anyone should be excited about any input or any number of subscribers, any interaction with their efforts, uh, given the, uh, competitive, uh, environment that we're all in. So if you get ten folks looking at you, that's swell, is what, you know, maybe that's, uh, uh, making lemonade, making lemonade out of lemons, or it's uh, polishing a turd, or silver lining, or whatever it is, but it is what it is. So, uh, props to the guys that even managed to get, you know, into the 10,000 hits, or the 1,000 hits, because you obviously are doing something right, or hats off to you. So I guess what started this is kind of the YouTube hoop uh, community, which I kind of follow from a distance, from afar, if you will. Uh, and the dominance of labels and the, the divisive nature that exists in the community. It's very polarized. It's very... Uh, us and them, or people are so into their particular styles that they hate any other expression outside of their own personal chosen favorite. Uh, and so many, I'm going to say many, and that's a stupid word for this conversation because there aren't many people listening to this right now, but, uh, or anyone for that matter outside of 40 or 50 people, but uh, that could change given the topic of the conversation. But anyhow, uh, labels do very little to advance the art form or the you know whatever this is this this subculture. Uh, yes, it it defines them, but then what does it do outside of that? And then many of these lab labels are derogatory in nature because, uh, you know, who's going to line up to become a spadinner fag, you see? Uh, if what a person chooses to do falls within some sort of de derogatory uh, description, then all of a sudden there's, you know, tons of haters to rally around that cause. If that's even the right description. So, I guess what I'm getting at is, as the as the leaders or as the poster children of the YouTube poop movement, there would could be a little more uh, communal vibe, a little more inclusive nature versus this exclusivity and stuff like that. Uh, uh, the the hardy competition and challenge and tennis and back and forth and the kinetic spontaneous nature of the culture god damn what a, what a bunch of words uh, you know doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is out there hating on what everyone else does or whatever so I don't know focus on what you do and do it well but what does it matter if another person shit a substandard or 
calls themselves something that you don't think they are or whatnot. My style is and so, nice. yes, this indirect, directed, random comment isn't necessarily so random, but hey, I am in front of a static self-promotional JPEG. That's right. Uh, yeah, and so yeah, uh, I like uh, this is not this is not negative. This is not confrontational. This is just you know two cents uh, directed at no one. You know, as far as the ten people that might even view this don't even know what the fuck I'm saying, anyways. But the you know the one person that this is indirectly directed at knows what I'm saying. That's right. I'm not necessarily fishing for hits, but. Uh, I'm an attention whore, like, uh, if, if you know anything about my history, I was basically excluded from, you know, accolades and, and fame or, uh, congratulations, and so sure, I'm searching for that on some level, uh, as it relates to Robotnik crap, uh, anyways, uh, let me see, there's one thing I wanted to insert here. What is with the racism in YouTube poops? What's with all the uh, N words and uh, mudslinging? See, because it's uh, is it because it's a faceless kind of somewhat anonymous thing, or is everyone from the South or regionally specific uh, racially biased areas? I mean, I see it in Xbox Live, and I see it in day-to-day, uh, -day, but uh, is there a predominance of it within the uh, YouTube poop community? Uh, uh, send your uh, responses. Oh, let's answer the door, shall we? Ah, yes, <laughs> It's a, it's a guest. It's a guest from previous videos. <laughs> it's a, Danny P. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making a video here uh, right. addressing the uh, YouTube right. poop community. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> on the, uh, yeah, on their, focused uh, on the uh, bowel movements or yeah. <laughs> the local bowel movements. On the, uh, on the video creations of aspiring uh, culture jammers. Uh, and their use of uh, nice the N word, nice. not all of them, but there's a lot of them out there. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. And no, wait, wait, back up for a second. Poop meaning, uh, is that a slang term for uh, chopping, edit, right. edited, uh, yeah. footage, stock file stuff? Yeah. That's mm. for com comedy's sake. Yeah, for the uh, most part. They all parody. Yes, for the most part, yes. But then also, then. The other part of that conversation is exactly what you just said. You summarize it in one sentence like that, but there's all this infighting over who does what and what's so yours called and my style. Oh, my style is the best, and so I challenge you. It's my stock or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's right. My stick, yeah, they say. That's, well, my, that's my footage. That's my, that, yeah, that's my favorite. But then it should be like your mama stuff. Like you should be able to blast. I think within that community, you should be able to blast that guy directly by making a joke of hit whatever they lay claim to. That's you right. know, that that would be even better, more justified. Of course. It yeah. Is. But then yeah, it, that's exactly that's on right. point. And I you like and it. you have no concept of the community. Yeah, because and you dialed in. That's right. Like, yeah. When you think these, about these guys are just kit fighting, infighting ego. over what do you call this? And I call this that. And the, oh, your style is weak because because you're a fag because you use yeah. this source. You should just call them all bitches. You know. No, I don't. I don't want to fight with Sup, them. Sup, bitches. I don't want to fight with them. <laughs> well, that's, that's, Look, that's, look my, smell my poop. <laughs> like the that, smell of my poop. That, that's that's their that's their arena. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there that it's, that it's very exclusive. Really. Uh, so uh, back to back to the report. I'm gonna take an intermission. Another another intermission. Okay, so we're back after a quick intermission, and uh, we're starting off this uh, rant here. Uh, was we left off, I think, with some uh, conversations that took us to Hollywood elitism, 
and uh, part of this, uh, you know, pop culture that everyone's rebelling against in some form or another, is, and the true essence of parody is that you love something and you hate something. Your the two faces are equally represented by Parodius, and in order to parody something, you first have to love it in order to show the dark side and the things that you don't like about it, and that is really what goes on in all this YouTube group stuff. And if we, not we, because I'm not part of the, but if you Mavericks don't see how you're exactly the same as the Hollywood elite, then there's a problem because it comes down to those style wars and those classifications and... Who wears it better? Right. Uh, oh yeah, that was an important thing. <laughs> if somebody tells a, a joke, and we'll just call it your joke for sake of argument, if someone tells your joke better than you, kudos you know this is a highly derivative culture give and, him some laughs yeah it, uh pr props to the man who does it first but uh there is nothing new under the sun the these critics non-specific should be less biased this is this is not the fox news of YouTube poop. You they see. should be inspired instead of ego fixated. Well, negative. It 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 it, it, it becomes it becomes inspirational, but it's like negative reinforcement more than positive. You know. Well, who really owns it if you're just borrowing it anyway? That's right. The, the, there's a super possessive vibe to these memes, right. but. On one hand, everyone's jumping on a bandwagon doing the same style content, and on the other hand, you know, it's this big identity war, you know, uh, you know like Kung Fu. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that, my style is the best. I think what's kind of weird is that you're claiming ownership and you're not even a visible thing. You're just you. You have material. You present it. It's uh, it's edited, you know, into a, uh, what you think is funny, you know, what your personal. But you, people don't relate to the material as the person that made it or created that. Well, it's taken on a blend. New, it's taken on a new life. And so, if you're going to get possessive, you got to put yourself out there as a personality, you know. Then people attach that to you. Then you well, then maybe you own it a little on. bit better. Maybe you can be that way. But I think when you just throw it out there with a name or or a, a internet title, that's what this. That's it. That is all that it is. It is all self promotion because yeah. each user, each YouTube account, you know, sets up their deal and does their thing and has their friends that they ping pong back and forth with. Yeah, but. That's the stink because when someone gets to a level where all of a sudden they get 10,000 hits, 50,000 hits, 150,000 right. hits, quarter of a million, then all of a sudden. Why not be gratified with people liking the smell of your poop? They watch the video full length, you know? They, I'm they sure. Didn't just, they didn't not hit you, they looked at it and they watched it. Maybe they have some commentary. That's gratification. That, good, well, that, good or bad. That's how I started out. Any of it should if be. If someone's well, well. talking ecocentric about you, oh, you copied me. Well, right. who did you copy? Yeah, right. Essentially, yeah. It, it all came from somewhere. I'm just saying a little bit of responsibility as the elders and as the people that everyone else looks to. As soon as you point your finger and label something then you got an army of followers doing exactly the same thing yeah, why let it go. because they respect your opinion well let it go it's it's anyway. not good to be negative to reinforce the negativity because everybody has a little bit of that in their life it, i mean uh, it's super don't be a hater it's super <laughs> no it's super vicious and 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 they'll be you know haters are unkind to there's the world. there's expected backlash from this but that's you know not only desired but it's you know uh, expected, whatever. Uh, you know, control the hatred. Whatever. It's, it's not. It's not on me to tell anyone else what to do. I'm just pointing it out in my 
indirect random commentary in front of a static self promotional JPEG. That's right. <laughs> All right, peace. Yeah, there's no argument. <laughs>